I'm the president of the Art of Management. We're a practice management company that works with healthcare professionals in Canada. I have a practice management issue that I want to talk about today called, do you ever get behind schedule? Now, most practices that we've worked with over the last 30 years has had times, experienced times when they run behind schedule, not necessarily because of themselves, could be the patient causing it, but quite often the doctors blame the staff and the staff blame the doctors and the patients don't care who is to blame. You know, they just get annoyed that you're not running on time and that they're having to wait, especially if they arrived early or on time themselves. So what are some of the causes of this? Let's take it apart a little bit. Um, one of them is emergencies. A lot of doctors uh, experience a certain number of emergencies every week. Uh, sometimes every day where patients are in trouble and they need you right away and um, there are handlings for this that a lot of doctors have used which is leaving an opening in your schedule for every, one for every morning and one for every afternoon. Now normally these always get filled up by you know emergencies or patients phoning in do you have an appointment right now that kind of thing so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you don't want to disrupt the patient's schedules uh, that are like patients who already have schedules. You don't want to actually run behind and cause them to not be on schedule. So some doctors also use their lunch hour or stay after hours to fit in the emergencies. So those are your options on that. Um, number two, um, sometimes it's a lack of systems and structure. Um, you know, like you must run on time can be a policy of the practice but 90% of the time it's probably going to be possible, the other 10% it isn't. Um, but patients aren't going to refer people to you if you always run late and they're always coming in and sitting around waiting and waiting beyond when they should have been seeing you. So you don't want that either. So have a policy on how to book ideal days and book certain kinds of procedures in blocks and so on so that uh, you can then leave that opening in the morning and the afternoon. Um, some patients uh, need to be double booked because they are always late and you know they're going to be late or they're not going to show up at all so you can do double booking. Um, so there's different systems that you can put in place. Um, unscheduled treatment is the third one I wanted to take up because I did this to my dentist. They go, oh by the way, can you do this as well? So that added another 15 minutes to my appointment and he has such a big heart, he went ahead and did it. But afterwards I told him what he should have done with me and had me come back for another appointment and say, yes, we'd, be, we'd love to take care of that. Why don't you come back and we'll devote a whole appointment to that exact thing and we'll take care of you. I did the same thing to my chiropractor, like he adjusts my body and then I go, oh, by the way, my thumbs are hurting or my elbows hurting or whatever. And you know, big hearted guy that he is, he did the same thing, so again, I did a little doctor education as opposed to patient education and uh, so just rebook them for an appointment and take care of the issue that they want and tell them we'd be glad to take care of that let's set it up as an appointment so you need to work out practice policy and stick to it and that way patients will run on time and you will run on time and everybody will be happy so there you go that's today's topic have fun with it